All right. The question is, I knew it. I knew. <laughs> I flipping knew it. Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with a brilliant Marvel Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on spectacular difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in the previous video we spent some time with Miles because I felt a little bit sorry for Miles because ever since Harry came back on the scene it feels like Peter has just been continuously neglecting uh, Miles. So we played as Miles for the entire video. We did a main mission with his mother who basically wanted him to check out some sort of museum because the security system had gone wrong. When we got there we found a bunch of dudes stealing a bunch of instruments. We managed to get one of the trucks back with instruments but the other one managed to escape. So unfortunately the museum is not going to get a donor anymore but that's another storyline we can now follow. Um, and then we did a random side mission at Brooklyn Visions and we did a mission where the mascot had been kidnapped by a rival school and they set up a bunch of random puzzles everywhere. So that's basically what we did in the previous video. Today we're going to be switching over to Peter and we're going to kick things off by doing one of the side missions where the firefighters need my help and we should meet another familiar face. But yeah, let's get straight into things. A very special episode for you today. Here to dish about all things going on in Harlem recently is the incredible and brilliant Councilwoman Rio Morales. Sweet. Good to, be back, Rio. Good to be back, Danica. So, we've been seeing reports of an attempted robbery in Harlem? Unfortunately. But the Harlem Cultural Center is home to artifacts from resilient musicians of color. What better way to honor them than to be equally resilient? We'll recover just fine. If there's one thing I love, it's optimism. And I heard Spider-Man might have been involved. What can I say? Art thieves never expect a fake out. Or Spider-Man. You'd think they'd learn to plan for both. <laughs> right? So Spider-Man was on the scene. That's great. Think he's handsome under that mask? That's what they say. Well, New York wouldn't be the same without him. Thanks, Rio. Give it up for Rio Morales, who graciously lent us her time. Any advice for our audience before we head out? If you need help, ask for it. No one important will judge you. Promise. Oh, I couldn't have said it better myself. Danica out. That is a very, very, very good way of leaving a podcast. That is some solid information right there. Some solid advice, I should say, uh, Rio. But as for Danica, every time I see Danica pop up in the corner, I think somebody that regularly uses Twitter has popped up, and I'm not happy about that. <laughs> right, let's switch over to Peter. I would have already have done it, but Danica decided to pop up, and I didn't want to uh, interrupt her, because it feels rude. I always do it. Every time they're speaking to me, I start a crime or something, and it just cuts them off. But this is a side mission now involving that cultural center, a.k.a. the museum. Right, we're going to switch over to this one. Where have you been? Pete's helping out the fire department at the hospital. Oh, shit, I forgot we were still wearing the biker outfit. I think after this episode, or maybe the one after this episode, uh, we will change their outfits again. Moving on. Oh, that's one of the gusts of wind, ain't it? Oh, sweet it is. Oh, that is a nice way of getting across the bridge. Got a little sunset going on at the moment as well. Very nice. Oh, got one of those little collectible spiders over there. They really need to release those in like little individual bags. You know, like crazy bones. They need to release the little spiders you get in this game like crazy bones. Then every single bag has like four random spider bots. You know, and then you can trade with your friends if you get duplicates and stuff like that. I think that'd be nice. I like shit like that. I haven't collected anything like that since I was a kid. But I'm willing to do it as an adult purely because of YouTube. <laughs> if I wasn't doing YouTube, I wouldn't bother because it'd be a waste of money. But thanks, thanks, thanks to my YouTube channel, I can do shit that I wouldn't normally do. Now we are flying across the sea. Flipping speed on us is crazy. I also upgraded my um, spider wings so I can now glide for longer before uh, I start losing momentum. But I do all that off camera just to save time. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry, Pete. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Probably grazed up all your belly now, ain't you, buddy? Spider-Man, over here. Hey, Chief. Thanks for coming. You can also turn on um, 
full damage as well in this game. I only just realised. I should have probably put that on since the beginning. That would have made this playthrough very funny. <laughs> We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. <laughs> Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. You're time right. to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. Well, don't give me the tutorial. I already know how to use the bot. I just did it with Miles. All right. I find the people. Clark gets them out. My jump jets are gonna take a bit to warm up, though. Okay, so we gotta locate all of the people trapped in here and leave a little beacon for the uh, fire brigade to come rescue them. That's one job I wouldn't mind doing. I wouldn't mind being a fireman. The problem is, I do like fire, so I'm not actually sure if I'll put any of the fires out. <laughs> I'm a bit of a fucking pyromaniac. Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider Man, thank you. Hey, Clark. Did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. It's gonna be okay. Man, you put a bit too much faith in Spider-Man, you know? Especially when I'm controlling him. It was very obvious that this little robot was something to do with Spider-Man. Did you not see the flipping design? <laughs> That's a big giveaway, mate. I'm getting so sick to death of my eye. Like, I've just had surgery, and I'm more pissed off with my eye than I am my uh, stomach at the moment. These bloody eyelashes that keep growing directly into my eyeball, and every time I wake up, just before I start recording, they all, they've all bloody gone into my eyeballs. Then I have like two episodes. What the fuck was that? I mean, was that a raccoon or a rat? <laughs> but I have my bloody eyelashes like stuck in my eyes. So I'm always doing this every four seconds. I bet it annoys the hell out of you guys and girls. I apologise. I, I don't know what I have to do. I, I pulled them out before, but then they grow back. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do really. Been happening since about 2017. Be another fucking thing I've got to have surgery for now, wouldn't it? Right. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to do some operation on your uh, your uh, eyelashes. Yeah, it's gonna give me a tutorial, isn't it? It's gonna tell me everything I need to press. I suppose they assume that you would have done this mission before the one with Miles, because we got this mission a while ago. Anyone? I can't move. Help! Hang on. I'll get you out of there. Oh, thank you. That's not that heavy. You could have got that off of you. <laughs> you could have got that off you, mate. You just being a damsel in distress. Another bloody Spider-Man fanboy. Help's coming. Fire and rescue knows where you are, and they'll be here soon. It's going to be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Clark. You should be getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. Breathing exercises again. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm not even bothering to really use spider sensors at the moment. I'm just walking, hoping for the best. No, we're gonna blow his leg off, ain't we? <laughs> he's not gonna have to worry about a broken leg anymore. Oh shit, yeah, his leg's gone. Bloody sand everywhere. Fire and rescue's on the way. Just try not to move. They'll have you out of here soon. Okay. Looks like a little Pokeball. Oh, jump jets are finally warmed up. Yeah, just in time. Hey Clark, did you get the last location I sent you away? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. Sweet. You should be careful, really, because sometimes blowing up a small piece of foundations can cause the entire building to collapse. So you should be being a bit more careful with your Spider-Bot, Spider-Man. We got to. Have to 
block that sand from coming through. You should have enough traction to pull him out. Oh, I'm stuck. Get me out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Fire and rescue's on its way. Are you okay? No, I'm good. But I saw somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark. I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? We're not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on. What do you mean if I can find them? You find them. It's your bloody job. An absolute shit show. Uh, this will take some maneuvering. Nah, it's all right. I play Crash Bandicoot. Spider Man will be all right. Those weird cultists in it. As soon as they're done with the deserter, we're out. The explosives will bury whatever's left of him. And the evidence. Gonna kill someone. Yeah, that's definitely the cultists that we've been travelling around beating up. And they do like fire, and this place is on fire, so it does make sense. Well, they need medical supplies. They're obviously planning something bad, so I think we should just kill them all now. Oh, yeah, you don't kill no one, do you, uh, Peter? Nah, useless. I hope I'm going the right way. That spider boss adorable. I didn't say anything to the police. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. I want to put some sand in your eyes. Oh, all webs. <laughs> By command is here. You little horrible bastards. Breaking into a hospital and stealing medicinal supplies. What a bunch of pricks. Well, I was about to finish somebody, but then I decided to take a bunch of unnecessary damage. Those electric webs are so lame, isn't they? <laughs> they just look like they barely even shock anyone. Yeah. This guy's probably got less of a shock than a police taser. Oh, we better take down that dude. We better take down those assholes up there first, otherwise they're just going to keep bloody having air superiority. We don't want that, do we? Oh no, you you're all talking very cringe, you gotta be honest. <laughs> oh watch out for the guys with the uh, cattle prod. Uh, the, the um oh, what the fuck's it called? I forgot what it's called now. Oh shit, I'm getting distracted because I can't speak English. Don't fucking fight with your fists, you pussy. No! Oh. The flame burn 
Everything's eternal. Who the fuck is that guy? Oh shit, she's got a keyblade. Kingdom Hearts. Thanks. So what's your deal? There you are. Hey! You never did like me smoking. Yuri? Low lives call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried. Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. <laughs> and they said it couldn't be done. Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her. And the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. <laughs> That's funny because you're a spider and spiders have got eight eyes. That's funny. Okay. Um, right, let's carry on with the main story now. Uh, the um, Yuri, I think she was in... I think she might have been in... I don't know if she was in Spider-Man 1. I can't remember. But I know. I think she might have been in the DLC, actually. The City That Never Sleeps and all that stuff. The stuff where we met Tombstone or Hammerhead or whatever it was. Or maybe both. I can't even remember. I think it might have been both. We're suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof. Feckless government officials. And a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Yet the worst. Most insidious dilemma we face is that of the faceless. It seems another masked vigilante is bringing their illegitimate justice to the streets. All reports indicate an individual disguised in purple and sporting a take no prisoners approach to the illegal activities they perpetrate. Some of you have criticized the Spider Man for not going far enough. But I can't believe what I'm saying. That's not in their jurisdiction. While they shouldn't be out there in the first place, at least they haven't sworn themselves as judge, jury, and executioner. We have systems in place for this people. If this new hero really wanted to enforce order to the fullest extent of the law, they'd join the police department. Why is it so hard for some people to follow the rules? This is the chaos the Spider-Man inspired. <laughs> and why must I be the sentinel of statutes? Now, how about some ads? I love how he always ends up blaming Spider-Man for it. I wish uh, Spider-Man would respond. Because obviously he's listening to the radio. I wish he would like say something to himself. <laughs> oh man, when he used to listen to Jameson on the radio, he got angry and punched holes in the wall. Now he just don't give a damn. See, that's how you want to live your life. Don't give a crap about haters. They're low lowlifes. <laughs> Any sign of Connors? Nothing yet. It's MJ. Bad news. Connors' house is crawling with hunters and the doctor's MIA. Good news. I think I know where to find him. Somewhere across the river. Maybe around. Let's move. He's okay. waiting. Because Dr. Connors went missing. He's the one that's been working on Harry and helping him to survive and probably responsible for that weird symbiote stuff that's inside of his body at the moment, allowing him to kick the crap out of everybody. But he barely has control of it, as you've seen. He keeps randomly doing spontaneous things, <laughs> like shooting out of his body randomly at people without him even asking it to. Or trying to like grab onto Peter weirdly. <laughs> Get him! 
Oh yeah, I'm sure no one heard that. Training with Sable paid off sooner than I'd hoped. A zoo. Connors has to be around here somewhere. I have to tell Pete. Well, we don't have a phone because you, like an absolute numb nuts, dropped it. <laughs> Flipping up, be careful with your phone. You know how easily phones break nowadays. You should have got reflexes by now where as soon as you drop it, you automatically catch it. All right, well, for some reason, they added the Mary Jane uh, missions back into the game. And I don't think anybody liked these in Spider-Man 2018. I mean, I, I don't like stealth stuff, really. So I'm not going to like it to begin with. But yeah, they decided to add them back anyway. <laughs> God knows why. All right, let's go and find Connors then. That window looks open. We have to be careful though, because the main reason that Craven's taken Connors is because Connors turns into a lizard. So that's probably why he's taken Connors because he, he's obviously trying to hunt supervillains at their peak. So he probably wants Connors to transform back into a lizard so he can fight him and then you know defeat another superhero and then feel a little bit more you know badass. Probably got a small penis, ain't he? That's, that's normally what happens in these situations. Where is that man? Some kind of genome readout. They're trying to reactivate his reptile genes. Yep. Yeah. Saw that coming a mile away. I bet everyone did. They've been studying Dr. Connors. Oh, God. They want to hunt him, too. Bloody hell, three inch serrated teeth. Oh, now that will leave, that's a lot of damage. Possible limb regeneration. Uh, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so because he, he he hasn't got an arm. He's missing an arm, five inch claws, fucking hell. Vulnerable to attack, mouth and gums. I feel like we should remember that. I feel like we need to remember that. If we ever have to fight him, which I don't think we should, but if we do, I think we should know that. Just punch him in the mouth. Listen for enemies. When he arrives, the fires must be lit. You have some very good hearing, Mary a Jane. Lot of hunters in there. Looks like they've set up shop here. Is this some sort of zoo? Hello. You know I don't like being snuck up on. I don't know about you guys and girls, but whenever I hear a random noise behind me, this is what I will do. If I was at work, I was cleaning or whatever, and I heard a bang behind me, do you know what I would do? I'd go. No. <laughs> that's, that's all I would fucking do. I wouldn't do anything else. These guys, they walk all the way over to it. Nah. I wish the video games would start being a little bit more realistic sometimes. Might get a better view from the roof. Like you need to literally knock something down. Like what Peter does with those piles of... Uh, uh, wire, um, metal bars and stuff like that. That makes sense, because you would investigate that. Tranquilizer hits, wears off over time. Oh, shit. It'll make you pass out. Oh, fucking hell. You are in the wrong place, girl. Did you just assume my gender? Fucking hell, you want to be careful. You want to be careful, mate. You're going to get cancelled for that. How dare you call somebody that's clearly a woman a woman? You're not supposed to do that. Oh, they nearly saw me then. Gotta split him up. So many have tried to kill him. Human and beast. <laughs> Oh crap, I hope I threw that over. I'm assuming tasers. Where are you, Doc? I'm assuming tasers like this would have a battery duration. Something you'd either have to re like throw away after a certain amount of uses or recharge. So uh, I hope you charge this up before you started this mission, MJ. <laughs> Because if not, well, we, we might be caught with our pants down. Oh my god. 
Vulture? Did they? I need to find Connors. Oh, I better not. That's just his wings, ain't it? Another night tainted by the silence of death. I wasn't sure I could clip his wings. Perhaps that would be my weakness, but no. Not even that could save him. He's dead. Fuck, you know, man. All of the classics are dying. If we find out that he's killed Rhino at some point, I'm going to be pissed. Cause I do miss Rhino. He's been in two games, though, so Rhino needed to take a back seat. But if Rhino, uh, if we find like some dead part of Rhino, I'm going to be annoyed. <laughs> Then again, there's probably tons of villains in the uh, Spider-Man universe I don't even know about. Someone spoke about some sort of rolly guy, big giant rolling guy that could uh, be in a Spider-Man game. It's like he's just a big dude in a wheel or something. I think his name's Big Will or some shit. So, uh... Oh, hello. Well, pick it up then, eh? Pick it up, MJ! It's MJ. I'm at an abandoned zoo in Jersey. It's... Please, don't. Please, you don't understand. to get in the cage and Connor's shackles need that key great just have to find them well don't worry MJ I know where both of them are I think we need to head over towards that uh, giant greenhouse for the first item maybe no we literally do not need to go that way at all for <laughs> fuck's sake alright maybe I don't know where they are MJ I might have lied I'm very happy that you actually said the location when you started that phone call. The first thing you said, basically, was your location. Just before the phone died. That's very smart. Some people get a little bit emotional when they don't actually say what they need to say. They've got like 10 seconds to speak and they say everything but what they need to say. Just MJ, abandoned zoo in Jersey. Done. And then Harry can tell Peter, sorted. I'm sure Harry can come along as well now that he thinks he's like Spider-Man number three, the cheeky git. Nobody even initiated him into the group. I thought they had to do that weird pose thing that they do to become Spider-Man. <laughs> he ain't part of the crew yet. This looks right. The hunter who input that code has to be nearby. I've only seen one of Craven's hunts in person. I still have dreams about it. This one will be special. The hunt of a lifetime. One day, with enough training, aspire to be what he is if he gets what he hopes for tonight we will have to take up his mantle i'll be ready when the time comes oh don't come over here i was just listening oh well you shouldn't have done that <laughs> must be preparing these for craven how can you prepare? They're, they're already prepared. They look like they're pretty sharp as well. Were well, you giving them a blessing or some shit? Oh, look at that. It's the fucking Alliance symbol from World of Warcraft. Holy shit. Well, at least we know that Craven plays ally. What was that noise? <laughs> Just an illusion. Don't worry. This is the zoo that closed after a lion attacked its handler. Awful. Well done, Lion. Well done. You let him know who's the king of the jungle. <sighs> the hunter with the code came this way. Where is she? Come on. Who doesn't write down their passwords? Me? <laughs> Mongoose. Maybe whoever that is 
knows the code. Just need to convince them I'm Vika. I just think it's very goddamn convenient that you went to spend some time in Simcaria to write a book and then you uh, picked up the language while you were there and conveniently the one person on the radio that you need to speak to speaks that language. Any language in the world and it was the one that you know. How fucking predictable. Shut up, Mongoose. Simcarian poetry must be her first language. Vegre, yo hear. Her Simcarian is perfect. Hopefully mine is convincing. Radio designations. Let's find out who this mongoose is. Hello, Garin. Some kind of ranking system. <laughs> Guess she's Garin's boss. Good for me. All right, let's get that code. Come on, MJ. Your Simkarian is still good. Enough. Just answer. Itvika, Vika, Monguznok. Vika, Petek Vod. Garin, Elegem Vana, Hiva Shaipol. Hol Vana, Kakezulekas Kodok. A Kodok, Shorosata, Os Informatio, Stablan Van. Tut Hotnad? Te Pedigas Tut Hotnad. Me and Hongon Besel heads Velem. Nehiv Turbet. Nerta Feyet Be Keruhet. <sighs> that felt kind of nice. All yeah. right, better move before he comes looking. That's what she wants Where's to say to Jameson, I bet. There you are. Codes for the enclosure. Zero four five one. Code. Now for the key. All right, well, I don't have to remember that. You better remember that, MJ. See, that's what happens when you tell me to sprint. People nearly spot me. See, game? Don't tell me to sprint when I don't want to sprint. A generator. Could cause a good distraction. <sighs> Whoops. Oh no, there's an angry doggy there. That dog better not turn around, because I don't think we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of them. <laughs> Even Peter struggles with them. Oh no, it's going the other way. Well, that was bloody lucky. It's uh, looking a little bit like Bloodborne, this area. Is he looking at me? No. The hunter with the keys went this way. Getting close. <laughs> there. He's got the key. Oh, I got some. I know it sounds crazy. That camo field. I think I can the hide behind it. The are so concerning. Maybe you should seek How are using their own camo technology against gotcha. them? Their own cloaking stuff. Oh. Fuck, I thought he was out looking at me then. Got the keys. Time to Sweet. Stench of this city is dulling our senses. More hunters. We will have our victory. No matter the cost. You're being very loud, MJ. Right, let me just chuck something over there in case. Then, boy, I'm in route. Okay. <sighs> okay, Doc. Let's get you out of there. He's ready. Come, let's move. Do you think we've done enough? We will find out. Sounds like Craven is on his way here. We have to get out of here. Fast. Now, don't worry. You've got the strongest taser on the planet. Just zap him. It's a total rewire. 
I hope you didn't see that. Quick, 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 MJ. Quick, MJ, quick, MJ. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Oh, God. Where's the bloody stairs? Who would expect to find such worth? Shut the hell up. You alright, Dr. Connors? How you doing, buddy? Wait, 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 wait. Did you You know this beast. His name is Kurt Connors. He's a good man. Good. Only good prey. <laughs> oh damn. Oh damn. Well done, MJ. <laughs> Lucky he ain't killed you already. Have a costume for who the hell do you think you are, Peter? Are you two all right? Better now. There's a lamb in the atrium. Might have a syrup. Syrup. I don't have much time. Then we'll buy you some. Ah, oh, this is going to be a longer video. I forgot about all this. Right yeah. Middle. That glass building. Please. Hurry. Very Clear important path. video this Keep is. Your heads down. Don't worry, Doc. We'll get you to that lab. You're not turning tonight. I feel very weird wearing the wrong clothing. Where's my punk outfit gone? <laughs> Over that dude in the floor. Oh no, is that dogs? Oh, a lot of dogs. Taser over here and help us out. Why ain't you? Why ain't you fucking pretty using your triangle ability, Peter? Don't start ignoring me, buddy. We have problems if you do that. It's so fucking dark, ain't it? Oh no! Clear the area. Oh fuck! That's why a brute bloody whacking me. <laughs> I'm gonna end up dead. I've got to be honest with you, Harry. I don't feel like you're doing anything, buddy. I've got to be honest. I feel like I'm carrying. No, no, no. Not to that one. Oh, 
I nearly can't. I nearly used the finisher on him then. That would have been terrible. Oh fuck off! Fuck off, mate! Fuck off! This, this, this. I can use this to make an antidote. Deep breaths through the nose, buddy. Harry's going crazy. He's very overpowered with that suit. Fifth grade, when you. No. No. You gotta stay awake, buddy. Pete. No! <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't know. <clears throat> MJ, get him out of here. I'll handle this. Got it. Oh no, you just symbiote punch. 
Oh, this is going to be my new set of powers, like Miles' new powers. I think I'm in beast mode at the moment. Yeah, I am. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. The power. You can hear, like, venom grunts through the control. Oh, that, that is demonic, that is. Oh man, hearing the venom, I didn't even notice that, hearing all the venom grunts through the uh, speaker on a dual sense and all the haptic feedback. Crazy. That's creepy, that is. Actually died, Peter. I'm on my way. What are you? I kind of wish Harry finished you off, to be honest. Track the lizard. The spider is mine. You weirdo. Stop hovering. I'm fine. Maybe some water. Water. On it. So... The suit cured your... Yeah. Which means without it, you... Yeah. Okay. We gotta figure out how to get this back onto Harry. How did you give it to me? I... I, I don't know, it just... sort of happened. Okay. Uh, let me try. Pete, there's something in your... Uh, uh. Okay, not what I... What the... Uh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Let me try it again. Find Dr. Connors. Except <laughs> he's a drilling reptile right now. Craven. The, the serum. He had it around his neck. That's what he used on Dr. Connors. If we find that serum, we, we could analyze it, use the equipment here to, to engineer a cure. And bring Dr. Connors back from the land of the lizard. I'll start tracking down Craven. He's probably already cleared out of that zoo by now. Well, lucky for us. He left a piece of himself behind. Sweet. <laughs> a new soap. There's this pawn shop in Little Odessa that specializes in rare artifacts, just like this knife. Let's start there. Good thinking. Weirdly enough, I feel energized. It does. Did that for me, too. How does this thing work? Honestly, I can't explain it. I just think, and the suit listens. Okay. Maybe it'll help with finding Craven and his serum. Just don't get stabbed this time, please. I usually try not to. I'll be fine. I promise. Okay. I think um, it's probably beneficial for you to stay in the black suit for now, because 
every time a cutscene happens, you're going to be in the black suit if it involves Peter, because Peter's technically been overtaken by the suit, and he shouldn't technically be allowed to remove it. So even though I could go on the menu now and switch back to another costume, as soon as a cutscene happens, he'll be wearing a black suit again. So for the time being, we're going to have to stay looking like this, because otherwise it's just going to be weird. <laughs> hey, Yuri. I tracked the followers of the flame to an abandoned clinic in Chinatown. We go together, maybe we'll find their boss. So you can leave them to die too? Not unless I have to. Look, this cult needs to be stopped. You want to come along, it'd make things easier. But I don't need you. If I went, I could keep an eye on her. You know, Yuri, I literally just died about four minutes ago. So, you know, you could maybe give me a bit of, uh, bit of time to recover. <laughs> Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf. More bets. I think this has been another mega long one. Oh, 52 minutes? How the fuck was it 52 minutes? Oh, well, this is going to take about seven years to render. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf. More bets. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.